Time for more crossbow tests. I got some discounted armor from Cult of Athena with minor defects. First up is a reproduction of the Cherberg number 13 breastplate made by Lord of Battles. At this price you can't expect a 100% accurate replica and there are noticeable differences. It's made of 16 gauge steel which is about 1.6 millimeters thick. Historical armor was not uniform. The thickness could vary even on the same breastplate from 1 to 3 millimeters. So anything between 10 and 20 gauge. The front center, for example, was usually thicker than the sides and back. I haven't been able to find the exact measurements of the original Cherberg armor, but either way, 16 gauge seems like a reasonable thickness, although some folks prefer 14 gauge for reenactment and such. The defect on this armor is that one of the side plates are not attached, so no big deal. By the way, if you're wondering about this lever looking thing, that's a lance rest. Please keep in mind that this is not a scientific test. It's just meant to provide entertainment and a general idea of what armor and crossbows can be capable of. The armor is, as I said, not a fully accurate replica. Also, my budget is limited and I have to take what I can get, so anachronisms are bound to happen. The original armor is from the late 14th century, while the reproduction crossbows are a little later, 15th century. At that time, full plate armor had established itself. The Cherberg armor, on the other hand, is a transitional form, with plenty of mail worn together with a comparatively small breastplate. Finally, if you want to know more about the crossbows, check out the links in the video description below. First, the lighter crossbow. It has a draw weight of 160 kilograms or 350 pounds and requires a goat's foot lever to span. Now onto the heavy crossbow. This one has a draw weight of close to a thousand pounds, 976 to be exact, which is 442 kilograms. We've got some holes here, but the wearer would be perfectly fine underneath. And what happened here, fortunately it didn't shatter, which is what I thought at first, but uh, it looks like the, the glue just failed so it's just slipped out and it also flattened the tip quite noticeably it's definitely a noticeable dent it's more noticeable in, in the video actually but uh it didn't penetrate now this could still be bad if it dents enough to constrict your breathing and things like that but with the padding there's Lots of room for error, so to speak. For comparison, what can a blacksmith with a warhammer do? It's a little difficult to see how the original breastplate is constructed because it's got some sort of covering inside, but the problem with the reproduction is that the individual plates are connected with nothing but a piece of leather and the rivets were ripped out of the leather from the impact. That's a structural weakness. Even so, the armor did its job. Some of the hits might not even have been painful to the wearer, and I don't think any of them would have caused anything more than bruises. Well, the first round of testing wasn't quite what I was hoping for because we were running out of light. So it's a bit earlier today, even though the light is already kind of dubious, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here is where it hit. I've just used tape on the previous hold so I know what's new and what's old. So that really didn't do much. However, it did mess with the bolt. Oh, okay, that's, that's where it broke. It's not too terrible, I guess. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of in the wrong order, but uh, I didn't even want to shoot this one again against the armor because there's not much point. If the almost thousand pound crossbow can't do it, then this can't either, and I've done that before in uh, worse light. But, you know, what the heck, just, just once more. A 
This is quite a thick point here. Hopefully it won't get damaged, but we'll see. All right, here's the hit. It did some visible damage, but it wouldn't really bother the wearer underneath. There's just a little bit of a dent on the inside, but hardly worth mentioning. I don't even think this would hurt. You know, through the plate and the padding, I think you'd be fine. Okay. Same bolt with the heavy crossbow. And uh, I don't think I have to take that many more shots against this armor. It's pretty obvious that it works. It's better than breaking, but I'm definitely not happy with this glue. Here is the hit, and you can see it, it dented it quite a bit. And uh, on this side, you can see that these two plates are shifting, they're drifting apart more and more. So uh, one of the uh, strikes with the Warhammer definitely did quite a bit to dent this in and separate it from the other plate. And uh, the more impact you get here, the worse it is, of course. So the more damage it gets, the harder it would be to move in this. It didn't penetrate, though. So if you're wondering, you know, how did anybody in plate armor ever die? And well, if you think this is where that hit, if this had hit just, you know, a centimeter or two, to the further to the right, then this would have hit mail. Now later armor covers more completely, so there are fewer vulnerable gaps, but there will still be some. And even if not, you know, this kind of deformation here can be a problem. You know, it, it, it'll dig in. Now with the padding underneath, I don't think this would cause that much of a problem yet. But again, it'll reduce the wearer's mobility and it'll cause problems over time. I mean, you can see the it sits kind of weird on there now. So let's see what a point like that can do against softer material. So as you can see, no trouble right there. And it's pretty solidly in the gel. All right, let's see what happens with the light crossbow. And it really is, it feels much lighter than the other one. It's easier to use. Well, it went through, but it's not really all that deep. Well, I mean, this would hurt, no doubt about it but uh, might not be lethal. Depends on exactly where it hits. As you can see, this is not a very long distance. It's about seven or eight meters. And uh, of course on the battlefield, they would shoot at far further distances. It might not even penetrate far past the canvas at all. I also got an armor made of 20 gauge steel lamellar plates. I don't know much about this type of armor, but I can say two things about that particular reproduction or interpretation. One, 20 gauge or about one millimeter is really thin, even considering the overlap between the plates. And two, those are some dubious leather strings. Fucking seriously? What are those, scrotum leather? All right, let's see what it can do against lamellar. Okay, so it bounced off. It looks like the armor did protect. There's nothing here, but that's quite a bit of damage. So you can see what happened is the, the leather strings just ripped. And uh, the plate here, or the, the lamellar, is dented. Not severely, but it is noticeable. With a tighter fit, this might not necessarily happen. I actually wanted to attach this better, but uh, whoever made these 
did not do a great job with these strings here. So that's what you have, you're supposed to pass through the hole here and then tie. But when I tried, this ripped off immediately. Okay, so that did make a difference. You can see there is a little bit of deformation here, but not that much. So when the armor is actually firm against the padding and the body, it doesn't cave in like it did before. So it's actually doing a pr pretty good job. Okay, time for the heavy crossbow. Brace for impact. Yeah, I did a little more than the other one. It really drove that lamellar in. That's almost folded. Ripped out here. So yeah, you can see right here. That bent very substantially and it was driven pretty deep against the torso. So this could potentially, worst case scenario, crack a rib. Well, it's still better than being impaled, right? It looks like this is the right bolt for softening it up because this really breaks the armor apart. It rips out the leather strips completely and uh, it probably does some... It's quite a bit of blunt impact shock underneath. Not fun, but uh, definitely survivable. So if you're unlucky while wearing armor, some bastard might hit you twice in the same spot. All right, one more shot with a heavy crossbow and I think that shall suffice for now. Well, I did not expect that, but it actually pierced the steel. Went all the way through. And as you can see, it uh, bend it to a 90 degree angle. That's pretty impressive. All right, that's it for right now. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.